In this video, I'm going to show you how to access your Academy email address using a web browser. You can do this using any device, whether that be a laptop, computer, tablet, mobile phone. Um, slightly different in each uh, sort of method, but the process is very, very similar. All we need to do is have access to the internet. We load up a web browser. In this instance, I've used Google. And what we're going to do is search for Office 365. And then I'm going to select the login button just here at the top. Then what I'm going to do is click sign in. What we're going to do here is have your school user login. So for this will be for year 10, 16, and then your full name. And then you're going to have at oswba.co.uk and then you're going to tap next and then you're going to put in your password and then click enter. It will ask you here if you want to stay signed in. If you're staying signed in uh, on your own computer at home, that's perfectly fine. But when we're around school, we should always be in a habit of clicking no. And that way it limits anybody else having access to any of your documents or your emails. So I'm going to tap no here. And then this takes us into the page. Um, every student in our school has the ability to download a package of Microsoft Office and you can do that by selecting this install office button here at the top right hand corner. Uh, worth noting that you only get one download so please think very carefully which device you're going to download that to. If you simply click on it then you can install the software onto your computer at home, yes, your personal computer, uh, and as you can see, it includes your Outlook, which is your emails, with the uh, OneDrive, which is where you'll store all of your files, and then your basic functions, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc., so that you can complete your work wherever you are. As you can see, um, across the top, you've got access to all of your um, Word, Excel, PowerPoint, etc. Okay, that you can work online and it stores using the OneDrive. So again, something else that we need to get used to. And I'll have a separate video at some point in the future about how you can use OneDrive. Uh, again, that links across all devices and that means you'll be able to have work wherever you are. Um, what we're looking at here is Outlook. So what we're going to do is select Outlook and that takes us to our, um, our email sys part of the system. Um, because this is a brand new account, I'm just going to set it up very, very quickly. So I'm just going to tap save there on the United Kingdom and then we click save. That then sets up our account and brings us to our email page. Again, there's a few things here, little hints and tips that you can read through at your leisure. I'll let you do that in your own time. For those that have already accessed their emails, it will just take you straight to this page and you won't need to do any setting up. From here, um, if you look just at the top left hand corner, you can have a new message and when you click a new message that takes you to uh, the typing page. If you want to contact a teacher, then you will use their first initial and their last name. So myself, for example, will be R. Jones. And as you can see, it finds who that is and puts that in. All you need to do is then click it. Um, and again, the same if we use Mrs. Dorset uh, as an example. As soon as you write just the first few in, then it will come up. If you make a mistake, you can just cross off a person if you don't want to, uh, to send the email to them. Okay. Um, Please remember that we, any email sent can be tracked by the IT support team. All emails should be written uh, in a very professional manner. So we're going to start with the subject is the heading of whatever your email is about. So for this, it's just going to be a test email. And then in this box here, we're going to write the contacts of uh, the content of our email. Again, starting professional, hi sir, and then we're going to have, um, please can you help me with, and then whatever that's going to be, little typo there, okay? And then once you've done that, okay, you're obviously then going to finish with your name so we know who you are, and then you're going to tap send, and that will then send that email to me. Any emails that you receive appear in this box here, and you simply click on that box, and then the email will show on the right hand side. If you want to know uh, any emails that you've sent, then just on the left hand side, you've got a selection uh, of, of folders, one being the sent items box. When you click on that, 
it tells you who you've sent it to, it tells you the time that you sent it, and when you click on it, it shows you the email, and it will show any replies as well that come through um, it, as it collates them all together. That's a very quick overview of how to use your emails. There is a lot more you can do on it, but what I do need is for all Year 10 students to be familiar with how to send and receive emails to uh, teachers across the academy so that we can better help you when you're um, around and about at school.